Hey guys, welcome back to Blackwell Epiphany. In the last episode, we learned a lot and we are going to learn even more, I hope at least. We are going to talk to Jim. No point, he can't hear me. Yeah, that is true. We are going to switch to Rosa and then we are going Hi, to talk to Jim. Mr. Peebles? Hello, Rosangela, was it? What can I do for you? Jim, I know everything. Sorry? I know who Heather is and what she did for a living. I also know that you procured her services. There was a note in Tanya's apartment that said, I know about Heather. It was signed, J. That could have been anybody. Do you really expect me to believe that now? <sighs> no, I don't. Tell me about your involvement with Heather. God, it was over 25 years ago. Working the late shift, sleeping during the day. Who has time for a social life? So, yes, I found other ways to meet my needs. Heather was one of them. I'm not proud of it, but I make no excuses for it either. You said it was 25 years ago, so you stopped seeing her. She quit the business. I didn't know what happened to her until she walked in that door. The new face of good morning, Tanya Corsi. Tanya? Yeah, the name was different. The hair was different. The whole attitude was different, but I knew. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Okay, th these are all the same. Why should I actually choose here? Heather and Tanya are one and the same? You didn't know? Isn't that what all this is about? She reinvented herself, changed her looks, got a gig as a weather girl, worked her way up to this newsroom, worked here for years, and never knew who I was until I told her. Until you blackmailed her, you mean? Look, 30 years I've been here, and I haven't moved from this damn desk. I saw an opportunity, and I took it. So, I wrote her that note. I threatened to expose her past. I didn't know what to expect, but I didn't expect her to go home and for that to happen. They said she fell in the shower because she was drunk, but she was only drunk because of me. So what now? It's completely up to you. I'm not going to do anything. You're not. I got what I came here for. Very profound, Red. Very profound. Ever think of getting into fortune cookies? I'm only thinking of getting my coffee refilled. That's my girl, always planning ahead. Alright. So we got that out of the way. Let's go to Heather. So what exactly happened? Tanya, Heather, whoever. She... split? She killed off her past so thoroughly that it became its own ghost? I suppose so. I didn't know ghosts could do that. What? You read the rule book? Because I sure haven't. If we got a split spook on our hands, we gotta put him back together. Alright. Let's try it then. Let's talk to her first. Excuse me, Heather? Oh, hi. What's up? Look, I know who you are. What do you mean? You're Tanya Corsi. Or at least you're gonna be. You're making no sense. I'm me. I'm Heather. Maybe I'm not sure who that is yet, but I know it's me. Look. What are you are talking? You're me. I'm me. So, tell me about this. I raise really... Do you know a guy named Jim Peebles? I can't talk about him. I don't want to get anyone into trouble. So, tell... Can we not... Let's just enjoy the evening. Sure. Do you know a guy... I can't... I could get... Do you know what... I don't think so. You sh I don't. Please stop. I have it. I told. Hmm. Look. What do you mean? You're Tanya. You're making. I'm me. Well, had Sure. Okay. If that is the case, let's talk to Tanya then. Let's take Joey to where he is supposed to be. Hi there. Hello again. What bring- Listen, Tanya, I know who you are. We've already covered this, haven't we? No, I mean who you really are. You're Heather Goffstein. Or at least you were. 
I told you, I don't know any Heather. Tanya. I don't know any Heather because Heather is gone. Heather is dead. She doesn't exist anymore. She can't. I'm sorry, Tanya, but she does. What do you want? Money? A promotion? Like Jim? No, I just want you to come with me. There's someone you need to meet. I don't have a choice, do I? Fine, lead on. But remember this. Peter didn't just teach me how to do Pilates. Take me anywhere funny, and you'll be looking at a broken nose. I wouldn't dream of it. All right, will you follow us now? She will. Why are we going out there? Just trust me. Trust you? That's rich. You. I saw you on the roof earlier. Are you in league with this man? Um, kind of? Two blackmailers instead of one. This is just great. Hmm, can we talk with um, her? Tanya. I said I would follow you, not talk to you. Okay, so no talking, that's okay. We can live with that. Where the hell are you taking me? Just follow us, okay? Can I at least call my car service? I don't think that's possible. What do you mean? She means that they'd never come in this weather. It's better to walk. Come on. All right, so... Uh, Where are we going? It's just up this way. Wait. I know this building. Yes, you do. I used to live here. Back when I was... Why did you bring me here? Whatever you brought me here for, get on with it. Okay. Let's go Tanya, through. there's someone you need to meet. There's nobody here I want to see, I assure you. Even still, I just need you to follow me. Then we can forget about this whole thing. <sighs> Fine. Hey, Heather? Hey, who's your friend? What is this? Who are you? Answer me! Heather Goffstein? Who are you? No. No, 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 no. This is insane. I'm going insane. Um, sorry? You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't exist. What's your problem? My problem? My problem is that I hate you. Hate me? You don't even know me. I destroyed you. I got rid of your name. I got rid of your hair. I would have gotten rid of your face if I could have afforded it. You can't get rid of me that easily. No kidding! For 20 years, I was free of you, and now you come breezing back. Breezing back? From where? First Jim wanted a promotion, and now this idiot here wants... I don't know what! I don't want anything. That's bull. Huh? You be quiet. Hey! Stop, Stop that. that! Look at each other. You're the same person, give or take 20 years. I don't understand. I don't think I want to. Tanya, what happened when you got Jim's note? What, what note? It's too late to deny it. Nothing happened. I just wanted to forget. Forget what? Forget you. Forget this whole life I left behind. Why? Why are you so ashamed of me? All this? This life? It's a part of who you were, who you become. Will I ever be free of you? Do you really want to be? I'm not a bad person. I'm just kind of lost. I know I'll find my way eventually. Isn't that the important thing? Well, isn't it? Look at you. I really was beautiful once. You're really beautiful now. Damn straight. Wow. You okay? Convergence. Okay. I haven't felt this good in years. It's like an espresso and a colonic all at once. Speaking of which, you can take your blackmail threat and shove it. And I'm gonna tell Jim the same thing. Maybe it'll end my career, or maybe it'll give me a book deal. Either way, I'm tired of hiding. Tanya, listen. No, I'm not Tanya anymore. Tanya died. She... She what? She... I... We...
took three Valium with a vodka chaser. That's all I remember. You're not really a blackmailer, are you? No, I'm not. I'm... I'm dead? I'm sorry. I... Ugh. If I'm dead, why do I feel sick to my stomach? Listen, there's no time to explain. Just grab a hold of this. What? Just do it. That was... interesting. Did it work? Only one way to find out. This is all just so... unbelievable. You're taking it much better than I did. Can't you feel it? Like something is trying to pull you apart. I've been pushed and pulled too often this evening for me to notice. Madeline, have you had time to examine them? I think... yes. Madeline? Yes, apologies. I believe I have all the information I need. Huh? Madeline? Ugh, I really don't feel so good. This... can't be right. Michael? What's going on? Madeline! Apologies, my host. <laughs> I... Madeline, what just happened? That... felt quite pleasant. What?! Madeline? Madeline? Hey! You, Malone, stay back. You as well, Blackwell. I have absorbed enough energy to burn that precious body of yours to a cinder. Why? Why do this? Have you ever heard of the concept, the journey of the soul? What? It is said that every soul has a predestined fate or destiny, and the goal of every soul is to find it. But it is also said that the joy comes from the journey, not the destination. Have you ever wondered where you would be now without the Grace Group? Without the epiphanies that were pushed into your brains as if by magic? Maybe you would have all found your way. Maybe not. But you skipped the journey. Went right to the destination. It made your souls happy for certain. But it also made them weak. Pliable. Controllable. By someone like me. And now, if you'll excuse me, I am still very hungry. No! You. This whole time it was you? Indirectly. I knew these souls existed, I just needed to collect them. I could not collect my host until last, because my existence here was tied to him. As for Fielding and Goffstein, they were sleeping spirits. They needed to be awakened. Something only you could do. So, thank you for that. Collect? What do you mean by that? Perhaps that word is not sufficient. Possibly... Consume, ingest, absorb. I took their energy as part of my own. What the hell are you doing this for? I pulled you out of the dark. You were free. Why mess that up? Free. You of all souls tell me that I'm free. I am dead. For centuries I have been dead. I was a good spirit guide. I did my duty. And yet did I ever move on? Did I receive any reward? No. I was passed on from host to host, saving spirit after spirit. It became tiresome. Then my last host banished me. I remained there, in the void, alone. Forgotten by the universe. Until you brought me out. Yeah, well, we all make mistakes. But I was still not free. To fully free myself, I needed power, energy. These souls, these poor, misguided souls, were the nearest source I could find. You need to fix this. Fix this? Yes, you can still make this right. Just undo it, please, bring them back. I'll bring them through the light and we'll just pretend this never happened. I am sorry. I have not come this far only to turn back now. And what do you need energy for? What on earth could be worth all this? Allow me to demonstrate. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Ah! Oh my goodness, Red. What? You okay? Come on, darling, say something. Interesting. I wondered if I would have to relearn how to breathe. 
or walk, but it all comes quite naturally, like putting on a tailored glove. Madeline. Hello, Malone. Seeing you with these eyes is different. Of course, it might be the spectacles, cumbersome things. I'll show you cumbersome. How about a punch in the face? Malone, there is no need for this hostility. No need? You lied to us from day one. I apologize for the ruse. I admit I have not been completely forthcoming. No kidding. Come now, Malone. Nothing has changed. I won't shirk the duty. I have no choice. We will continue to save lost souls. Performing it from this end could be refreshing. I work with Red, not with you. You can think of me as her, if it will help. Like hell. Sadly, you have no choice. I'm gonna fix this. I'm afraid it's too late for that. Red, fight her. Whatever she's doing, fight her. She cannot. If her predecessors could not win against me, then she has no hope. Not with the power I now possess. Predecessors? What are you talking about? This is not the first time I have attempted this. In the void, I could only reach certain minds. The minds of other bestowers. Other bestowers? You mean... The other Blackwell women, yes. But I was too weak, and so were they. I could only control their minds for a few minutes before they... broke. Broke? I did not expect that would happen, but some good did come of it. I eventually learned the proper approach, and finally I have succeeded. You're insane. I mean it, Madeline, a stark, raving lunatic. Do you have any idea what you've done? You dare condemn me, little ghost? Allow a few centuries to pass. Wait until you've been left abandoned in the dark, adrift, terrified. Then you can pass judgment. But until then, I must get to the business of living. Stay here. We're not done talking. I said stay here! Ah! Hey! Now cut that out. Do try and keep up. It's not like I can do much from in there. Okay, we are finally once again in control. And we're gonna try. We're gonna try and fix this. What? What are you doing? You know, Red and I have a bond. We gotta stick together. Where she goes, I go. You might be wearing Red's body, but you ain't her. There's a line in the snow, and you can't cross it. But Rosa Blackwell, she can cross it just fine. You're... you're hurting me! Good. <gasps> you idiot! Do you have any idea what you just did? I just evicted you, sister. No. No, I will not be trapped in that limbo again. Tough. You made this mess, now clean it up. Very well. Just remember, you brought this on yourself. Uh, Red? Red, talk to me. Joey? I... You okay? I... Uh, Careful. I feel... You! Great, like a bad penny. Dispatch reported a woman ranting to herself in front of a church. I had a feeling it would be you. Care to explain the dead body around the corner? Corey? That's Officer Palmer. Now, explain. No. Miss Blackwell, I've been patient and cooperative so far. No. Stay where you are. What are you doing? Was it like this for them? For who? Red? I think... I think it's happening. Huh? Auntie, my grandmother, it's happening. It's like... it's like it's... No, it's too much! Red, stop that. Come on, you're gonna hurt yourself. Jesus, cut it out! Not again, not you, not now. Help somebody! Anybody! 
Oh my goodness! What is going on? Gotta... No! No! Huh? Joey? Joey? I... God, I'm tired. Oh my god. Alright, guys. I know we haven't hit the end of the episode mark now, but I feel like we are nearing the finale. And I feel like it's just a nice spot to end this episode here. And maybe we will reach the finale on the next episode. So, if you want to know how all of this is going to end, you most likely only need to tune in next time for... The Blackwell Epiphany. See you then.